Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right. <clears throat> So this is going to be a Libra Sun, Libra Moon and uh, Libra Rising uh, weekly tarot reading August 5th to August 11, 2019 and uh, bear with me a second guys to shuffle the tarot cards and we're going to jump right into it. All right, so the first card which stands for the topic of a Libra week, this is going to be the Eight of Pentacles, followed by the second card which represents the challenges that you guys need to overcome here, this is going to be the Ace of Swords. Third card which represents the positive aspect of the week here, we do have the Queen of Swords, and then the last one which stands for the guidance that Taro is offering to you, that is going to be the Ten of Cups. So quite a, way, a busy week for what it seems it's coming around, guys. I don't know if you're going to work or not. Is this your holiday week or not? But it does look like that you are to be busy with quite a lot of endeavors <clears throat> to a point where you may feel mentally exhausted. So that is going to be the real challenge here to maintain your mental strength. All right. But before we go into it, let's run the cards one more time. Uh, the first one is going to be the Eight of Pentacles, which is the uh, general topic of the week, followed by the second one, which represents the challenges here of the Ace of Swords. Third card, it is the positive aspect here, the Queen of Swords. And in the last one, what we do have, it is the uh, Ten of Cups, which stands for the Guidance. All right, so uh, Eight of uh, Pentacles does point, does point to... Um, that you are to have, like I said, quite a lot of endeavors which you are to attend with huge portion of conscientiousness. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing the word correctly, but for those who doesn't know what the word means, it's like with, with huge amounts of um, devotion and sincerity combined, okay? So, <clears throat> Eight of Pentacles here represents the ups and downs of one's life and of one's situation, you know, where you are masterpiecing your work, if I may say it that way as well. So, the card itself could point to uh, a, a lot of new contracts in regards to your uh, to your business and to your career. It could evolve as well. Are uh, you toiling a lot? to uh, reach a certain results that you are expecting and as well the card represents you know the usual follow-up of one's attempt to make dates in a sense of like one is starting to go out more into the world but e either way the, the eight of pentacles does represent that this week Libra you are going to start working over a, a thing that took a long plan for you, your long time for you to plan, all right, or to make up your mind about. The accompanied card here is going to be the Two of Cups, and this is either related to love or it is related to cooperation, formation. It is a passive friends that we do have, and uh, in each case, 
that thing, uh, whatever you are to initiate, which took a long time either to plan or to um, get into, or rather like to make your mind about, all right? It's definitely worth it because from a cooperative actions, either regarding relationship or career, it doesn't really matter, a third, a, a product is going, to, is going to appear, okay? So uh, the week itself, urges you to, um, I would say, share a good fortune with those around and as well to act from love. I don't know how to say it other, uh, other way around, you know, to <clears throat> aim for this pure results which are going to make you feel either loved, happy, you know, or with, with emotional satisfaction. So the challenge itself is going to be the Ace of Swords, like we said, and the Ace of Swords stands for the mental exhaustion in this uh, particular uh, in this particular case, or it's going to be very difficult for you to to maintain your your mental strength and clarity. Like I said, so what the Ace of Swords here involves is that there will be some points into this endeavor or into this cooperation, you know, or into your mastering into your skills that will require for quite a lot, quite of a, um, a, a huge push, okay? It will require more efforts than usual. And that exactly is the standpoint where you may feel exhausted, where you may feel uh, with a lack of motivation, for example. And it's in some extreme cases, Libra, you may feel that you don't have what it takes, you know, to, to have that thing, to have your goal manifested. The accompanied card here is going to be the Nine of Swords formation. It is a active neutrals. So that is, uh, well, it's kind of like the standpoint of one seeing a long road, in, uh, long, lo long road ahead, excuse me. It is like, uh, because, you know, you're gonna have that, uh, that opportunity, okay, to uh, establish a thing that either took a long time to, to plan or uh, it took a long time to make up your mind about, all right? You are to see that that simply isn't enough. And as soon as you go along that path, there is a long way ahead. Therefore, that may itself discourage you in a sense of that, um, for you are to determine that in in order for you to feel satisfied and to feel um in generally that you are in a good position it will take more than just one week therefore results are going to be definitely i would say delayed all right or results are going to come about in some distant time in the future so it's like an investment right now that you're going to do which you are to reap your its results further into the future but either way as with the with the first two couple of cards it's strongly advisable uh you libra to invest into this endeavor you know either it could be a, a relationship that someone wanted from you okay and it took a long time for you to make up your mind about okay or it's a, a business plan that it's finally a time for you to start executing and all these kind of stuff the whole point is that you have to face all that with it with a huge amount of, like I said, conscientiousness. And as well, you have to allow that person to be, which the endeavor involves additionally, to be equal to you and equal, you know, equal to the situation as well. So you shouldn't see this like you're doing anybody a favor, but more like you are uh, making those necessary actions. It's not even necessary, but let's say making those actions to, to provoke change and to improve your circumstances in general. So what uh, the positive aspect here tells us, that is the Queen of Swords, and that is a third party person, someone who is on your side, I would say, most likely a woman who is well emancipated, who is very uh, strategically oriented, a person who is capable of giving very strong advices to people, but at the end of the day, the woman, uh, most likely a woman, you know, it's, it's ready to pull the things through on her back. What I mean here is that is someone who has an information or a, um, as someone who sees clearly how the situation is to, uh, is to evolve. And therefore, this person is making you forewarned. Therefore, you become forearmed. Uh, 
and and you know such standpoint it is very unlikely that you are to face serious predicaments going down the road listening to the advice and counsel of the queen of swords the accompanied card here is going to be the lovers card and that is a active supporters so what this woman really does most likely a woman it could be as well a man well the 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 most important thing that the Queen of Swords is going to do for you is to make you aware that a time for making a decision or a time for taking a side eventually is going to come. The more you try to postpone it, you know, the, the, the severe the consequences of that thing is going to be. So looking at that way liberal let's say that uh, you are healing right now from a past relationship all right and uh, there is another person around you who wants to be in a relationship with you so you are very reluctant to do so you need time to make up your mind about it and this woman which is most likely your friend or it could be as well your mother okay or it could be as well your father it doesn't have to be a woman like i said it's kind of giving you this advice that eventually you have to open and it's better sooner than later you know because the more time you spend uh, indulging yourself with the relationship that ended you are wasting your time and you are reliving a poignant moments of your life while you know you can try something for a change to make yourself happy additionally to that uh, these two cards are pointing that this person here it's very eager to um, annihilate literally any kind of predicaments and difficulties you may face along the way so it's like a, a secretive supporter someone who works behind the scene that makes your life much much more easier and the last card for you, Libra, is going to be the eight of uh, the, the ten of cups, excuse me, which is the guidance. And as a guidance, there is no other way to see that card but uh, the way to um, wake up yourself and look at how many blessings you do have around yourself. The appearance of this card as a follow up to the previous cards, it does points that you are completely unaware, um, you know, how many positivity you do have around yourself and that is for the fact that you probably want something that you cannot have okay or you do want something but you are unwilling to put the efforts behind it so that being said the ten of cups here points that you have to start paying more attention to the small blessings to the small things in one's life for example the things that you do have a job the thing that you do have a suitor all right that yeah you may not be able to be with the one you want but you, hey you have a suitor you have a blessing you have an option available many people doesn't have that you do have a job maybe not the job that you like all right but you do have a job there are a lot of homeless people which you know don't have a job it doesn't have your blessing so the ten of cups here urges you to first become in tune and satisfied with what you already have make the most of it you know and then the inevitable you know new growth is going to come about because ten of cups it's also a, a card pointing the person should one deserve more one is going to get more the accompanied card here is going to be the two of wands formation it is a active enemy a passive enemies excuse me so <clears throat> at the two of wands here to the ten of cups only strengthens the uh the thesis that you know you are quite emotionally rich person it is just probably you are clinging more toward a poignant uh, aspects of your life rather than recognizing how happy you can be and additionally to that the two of wands here shows that should you decide to the ten of cups that should you decide to try to expand or rather like conquer new territories and completely neglecting your current blessings you may lose a lot of current blessings so yeah do not be unreasonable libra and uh, before you decide your next move here before you uh, decide to sacrifice something over a uh, completely unpredictable endeavor or a situation think of what you can lose because in fact could be everything that you do have so that was uh, your weekly tarot reading libra for august 5th to august 11 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and we're going to see each other around until then bye